Hi again, everyone. It's Miss Wendy. I think today is the perfect day to stay inside and make a tent. And to make my tent, I'm going to use two chairs and a blanket. So let's get started. sitting inside. It's so cozy. I wonder what could make this even cozy. Maybe we need some pillows. I think I'll go get some pillows. This looks like a cozy tent, but I think we could make it cozier. Maybe we could use another blanket. tent, but maybe it would be even cozier if I had a friend. Let me see if I can find somebody to get in the tent with me. Okay, I have a friend now. We need something fun to do in our tent. Maybe we could read a book. Yeah. Okay, we're cozy in our tent with my friend, and we're going to read a book called If You Give a Mouse a Cookie. We like this story because it talks about a cookie, and I like cookies. Do you? Okay, let's get ready to read our book. Here's our book, If You Give a Mouse a Cookie. The author is Laura Joffe Numeroff, illustrated by Felicia Bond. If You Give a Mouse a Cookie. If you give a mouse a cookie, he's going to ask for a glass of milk. Why would you get milk? Because milk goes with cookies. When you give him the milk, he'll probably ask you for a straw. So look at the little boy who's getting him a straw. He can't find one, so he has to look through the cabinets to find a straw. When he's finished, he'll ask for a napkin. He looks full, doesn't he? And he left crumbs. Then he'll want to look in a mirror to make sure he doesn't have a milk mustache. You ever had a milk mustache? So now he has to hold the mouse up to the mirror so he can see if he has a milk mustache. When he looks into the mirror, he might notice his hair needs a trim. Oh look, he has one little hair that's getting long. So he'll probably ask for a pair of nail scissors to trim one little hair. So now the poor boy has to go look for scissors. When he's finished giving himself a trim, he'll want a broom to sweep up. He'll start sweeping. He might get carried away and sweep every room in the house. Look, he's sweeping up all of the dust. That's a busy mouse. He may even end up washing the floors as well. When he's done, he'll probably want to take a nap because he's tired from all of that work. You'll have to fix a little box for him with a blanket and a pillow. Hey, like we made in our tent. He'll crawl in, make himself comfortable, and fluff the pillow a few times. He'll probably ask you to read him a story. So you'll read to him from one of your books and he'll ask to see the pictures. We all like to look at the pictures, right? When he looks at the pictures, he'll get so excited, he'll want to draw 
one of his own. He'll ask for paper and crayons. He'll draw a picture. Hmm, what do you think he'll draw? He has all the crayons out. He has a green one and a brown one and a yellow one and a blue one and a black one and an orange one. When the picture is finished, he'll want to sign his name with a pen. Then he'll want to hang his picture on the refrigerator, which means he'll need scotch tape. Oh my goodness, that little mouse is keeping this little boy very busy, isn't he? There he is, getting the scotch tape. He'll hang up his drawing and stand back to look at it. Looking at the refrigerator will remind him that what will he be reminded of? He's thirsty from all of that work. So, what do you think he's going to want? What do you think that mouse is going to want to drink? He'll ask for a glass of milk. And the poor little boy just sat down from all of the work. And chances are, if he asks for a glass of milk, he's going to want a cookie to go with it. The end. I hope you like that story.